Thursday morning. Hello, welcome to my Facebook live chat or hello if you're watching later on um, YouTube. Yes, Thursday today instead of Friday as usual because tomorrow I start my journey to Sydney for my week of fun up there. So yay, that's exciting. <laughs> my brain is just um, ticking over with all the things I need to do before I go but <laughs> it's all good. So good morning, nice to see you on a Thursday. Um, Yes, so let's get going. Let me tell you what I've been up to. So um, this week um, I'll be sending my email, my weekly newsletter email tomorrow. It's freebie Friday. So tomorrow um, you're going to be getting this free pattern, which is called Shell Collection. I had to remake it because, um, yeah, the pictures that it's one of my older patterns. It still works fine. It's um, some of the formatting is a little bit different to what you might be used to seeing, but um, I had to remake it because the photos I have are all terrible and I don't have the original squares anymore because I use them for a blanket that I don't have anymore. So yeah, I had to make another one to put a nice photo in the in the email for you. And it's also the free pattern that I've put in my app. So yes, um, if you have my app, if you go to the free patterns, you'll be able to download this straight to your device. Yay. <laughs> uh, now, <laughs> book news, Granny Square Flare. I only have US terms left here. I've got another order in. Hopefully they're going to get to me soon. Um, so if you're after, if you're in Australia and you're after a UK version, or even if you're after a US version actually, because I'm going away, um, I won't be posting until I get back from Sydney. So it'll probably be about the uh, 9th of September, I think. So any orders placed between now and then, um, I'll post on the 9th of September. Um, hopefully my UK terms will arrive while I'm away. So it's great to run out. <laughs> um, yeah, they're taking a little bit longer to print. They tell me that um, the closer we get to Christmas, the longer things are going to take to print because everybody's putting in orders. So hopefully that will happen. But the funny thing is, like, I always feel a bit bad talking about my book all the time, every time I see you, but because <laughs> I think everybody must have heard about it by now. <laughs> everybody must know. Um, so, but then I got an email this week from someone who'd seen the digital version of this and said, hey, is this in a print copy? Do you sell this as print as well? So <laughs> not everybody knows. I have to remember that, that not everybody has actually seen this, that it is actually out now. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Hello, I am making lots of things I will show you. Um, right, so that's that. So since I saw you last, last Saturday, I went to Millicent, which is a town about an hour and a half drive, two hours drive away from me, which is a little tiny town. And I did, well, I thought I was going there to do two workshops and a, um, a book chat, just telling everybody about the book and show projects and things like that. So, you know, I was expecting 10 people in each workshop, which was great for a small town. <laughs> and, you know, maybe a few people to come and listen to me chat, but it was nuts. <laughs> I had 15 people in the first workshop. <clears throat> Excuse me, about 40, 50 people came to listen to me talk. The next workshop... Somehow there were like more than 20 people in the room. <laughs> and then I did a third workshop with another 10 or so people. So it was nuts. Uh, so I took, that's why I've run out of books, because I took all the ones I had left and I nearly ran out then. So it was just amazing and fantastic. I actually shared on my page the Millicent Library's um, post about it. They had lots of photos of all, everything in action. So you can have a look at that later if you want. So that was amazing and wonderful. Um, and I got talking to them and <laughs> yes, they have a, <coughs> pardon me, a festival in April each year called the Gelt, Geltwood, I think. And yeah, they'd asked me to come back for that. So they'll be doing two days of workshops because obviously the need over there, <laughs> they want to want to learn how to crochet and do some things. So that's super fun. All right. So Sydney is coming up. This week so I'm going to go through everything I'm doing see if I can remember it in my head <laughs> so I'm leaving on Friday Saturday I'm doing two workshops for the Knitters Guild of New South Wales um, Sunday I'm doing a workshop the Melbourne Wrap workshop at the Happen Store in Annandale in Sydney Monday I've got the day off <laughs> Tuesday Tuesday I am doing a workshop at um, Penrith Way um, where I'm going to be teaching my Mayan square. That's a private workshop for a group of ladies who, um, yeah, it just worked out that we're, that, that's how it's happening. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. A big workshop doing this big square. Yay, that will be fun. Um, 
then Tuesday evening, I'm going back to the Happen store to do um, a Melbourne wrap, another second Melbourne wrap workshop because first one sold out. I think there might be a couple of spots left in that one still. I'll put a link down below to that later. Wednesday morning, I am going back to the Happen store again, but just for a social event. So they have a drop in every Wednesday morning. I think it's like 10 to 12 drop in and just make so I'm going to do that and just have some social fun <laughs> hopefully meet a few people that I, I know up in Sydney there Friday no Wednesday afternoon I'm going down to Loftus to the Crafty Hive where I'm going to do a workshop there um, which is all sold out Thursday I have a day off Friday morning I'm meeting somebody <laughs> for a cuppa in the morning I'm doing a book chat and a workshop at the Cast Off Collect Collective in Dalgala which I think there are a couple of workshops still in. I'm meeting someone for dinner and possibly catching up with someone else as well. <laughs> it's going to be a busy day Friday. Um, then Saturday, the 6th, I am going to Skeen Sisters where I'm going to be teaching Granny Squares for beginners, so complete crochet novices in the morning and in the afternoon I'm going to be teaching some flower squares from my book. Then on Sunday I'm going to be doing Skeen Sisters again. I'm doing Beyond the Granny, so teaching people how to read patterns and charts, um, how to join squares, we're going to practice all that kind of stuff. So that, and then that evening I fly home. Well, I fly to Geelong, stay the night, and then I'll drive home on the Monday morning. So busy days ahead, but it's going to be awesome. So hopefully I'll see some of you there. I know some of you are coming, so I will finally meet you and say hello. So that is great. Um, yes. What else is happening? I've organised, um, I'm going to be going to Crumbs Craft in Healesville in April next year as well to do a few workshops and a couple of other little fun things. Um, I'm talking to Julie at Little Woolly at Hastings and on the 1st of December I'm going to be going over there to do a workshop and there's a couple more I'm still talking about around the place. <laughs> um, Brisbane has popped up as a couple possible venue, um, well you know, place to go to, <laughs> to visit some places to do workshops up there, um, which is absolutely doable and I want to do it. My, I've got family up there, so it's main accommodation is easy. <laughs> um, so it's just a matter of finding the time when I can leave home to do it. So, <laughs> um, yes, sorry, I'm just reading a comment here. Melissa's trying to watch on her TV, but it doesn't seem to work. Okay, but she's watching it on her iPad, so whatever works, I, I can't explain <laughs> why things... <laughs> Yes, I would love to come to Queensland, So, but yes, as I say, it's just a matter of figuring out when I can leave the family. Because <laughs> um, the only remaining daughter at home is doing year 11 next year. Um, so, yeah, I can't really, and I'm the only way she can get to it from school. Yeah, it's tricky. <laughs> but hopefully some sort of school holiday time for us, I might be able to come up. So anyway, that's definitely going to happen, but I just have to figure out where and... Specifically where? I've got a couple of names for a couple of places, um, but I'd like to do a few more. So any Queensland, Brisbane people, if you know of any venues, just send me a message and I can pop them on my list of places to contact to see if I can come and visit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What else? Uh, yes, that's enough about the book and events and things. Um, what have I done with it? Ah, yes. <laughs> the giant test cowl is still going. People are starting to work on this one. G2. This is actually done in four flies, so it's a bit smaller than my version, which is about, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember how big it is. <laughs> this was made by my crochet angel, Sam. Thank you, Sam, for making this sample for me in different colours. Um, yes, so that's awesome. I haven't seen many pictures yet popping up in my Facebook group, but I will, um, I'm sure I will soon. There's some people who, are, I know the people that are working on it, asking a few questions and things, so yay. <laughs> All right, so that's that. So my Beyond the Surface cowl that I'm working on. And the last week I showed you that I had finished the large square. And I had written it up and sent it to my testers. And then I looked at it and thought, eh, I don't like some bits of that. <laughs> so specifically, I didn't like how close these puff stitches here were to the corner um, popcorny things and a couple of other minor little things so i have <laughs> redone it um this chat usually it depends this one will be fairly quick i'm probably about almost done probably about five ten more minutes so usually between 20 minutes half an hour sometimes longer if i've got lots of things to talk about <laughs> 
So I've redone it and so you can see I've spaced out the, the puff stitches from the corner a little bit more. I just haven't finished doing all the surface crochet, which I want to do before I get all the changes back to my testers. So yes. <laughs> Fun. So that's what I'm going to take with me to Sydney to do to work on. Um, yes. So I've done I haven't done any more little ones since I saw you last week, so hopefully I'll get lots done when I'm away. Hopefully. When I've got time. <laughs> Alright, um, the other thing I want to tell you about is my review of Pony McTate's book, Crochet ABC. I have a giveaway over on my blog and it closes on Monday. So if you want to be in a chance with a chance to win this, it doesn't matter where you are, pop over to the link. I'll pop I'll pop a link uh, I'll put a link in the comments a bit later. Go and leave a comment there. And you can enter to win this book. I'm just going to draw a name at random of some people who've commented, so it's great. Have a read of the review, have a giggle. It's a super fun book. I really, really love it. <laughs> so good luck. All right, so that's pretty much all I've been up to because I've, you know, getting ready. I've been, had a, all these appointments, got my nails done and running around making sure everything's going to be okay here. Well, I'm gonna, I know they will be. They can look after themselves, but you know, the mum thing, you've got to make sure the fridge is stocked and Cubs have food and <laughs> anyway so um, questions that I've had this week um, one of them is I've had a query a couple of times with that people who are doing the US version of a pattern will see HTR and think it's a mistake because they think it's half treble crochet in UK terms which they think is meant to be a half double crochet in US terms no there is actually a stitch in US terms called a half triple so HTR means a half triple or what some people in the US call it a treble. So it's where you yarn over twice, insert your hook, pull a loop up, yarn over, pull through two, then you yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. So check your glossary, check your abbreviations. So if you're doing the book, have a look in the glossary and it'll be explained. If you're doing any other pattern, check the abbreviations for HTR and you'll see it's not a mistake, it's a real stitch. <laughs> um, another question I've had is how to teach left-handed people crochet. I've taught a few in my workshops um, and yeah it can be a bit tricky it depends on the person a lot of lefties are very very good at being able to flick it in their brain and and watch me so sometimes I'll just sit with them and go really really slowly um, showing them what to do and they'll get it but if that doesn't work I go left, <laughs> which is good. It's tricky, but it's good because it makes me go really, really slow. And it also gives them the confidence that they're feeling a bit, you know, awkward and stuff. I'm being awkward too, so it's okay. <laughs> so I, I think I've been pretty successful with all the lefties I've taught. I, haven't, I don't think anyone's given up or anything. Um, so another way, some people do it by sitting opposite but I learned that, that that doesn't always work. There's a lady who was um, in my one of my workshops last weekend, actually, who learnt by doing opposite. And instead of and instead of poking a hook into her work from the front, she was poking it from the back because she that's you know she was had learnt by watching somebody opposite. So I like to sit next to the person and either do it left-handed or right-handed really slightly. So that's it. All right, so that's pretty much me for today. So the plan, well, you know what I'm doing for the next week or so. So there'll be no Facebook Live next week um, because I'll be in Sydney. So Friday after next, I'll pop back on and I'll tell you all about my adventures. <laughs> um, but now I have to go and pack my bags, um, which is proving a bit difficult. <laughs> um, I have done all the handouts for my workshops. So 10, work 10 workshops is a lot of handouts. So I've got like a big file like this thick of paper. <laughs> then I've got all the yarn and my hooks and things that I need for all the workshops. I've got the samples I need for the workshops, the squares and things. Um, I have got another smaller suitcase where I'm taking um, projects from the book that I can show when I'm doing book chats and stuff. So I can't take everything. Um, but yeah, but plus, you know, clothes for that long. I know I can wash things and wear things more than once, but still. You know, you know what it's like. You don't know what the weather's going to be like. You want to cover all your bases. Well, I do anyway. I'm hopeless. I always end up taking way more than I need. It's not. It's crazy. It's not like I'm going somewhere where I can't buy things. I can get toothpaste if I forget it in Sydney. 
anyway but this little bag here my fringe oops, <laughs> fringe field bag has my projects that I'm going to work on like not workshop related this is just me so I have in here this the great bags they fit so much I've got two 200 gram Bendigo Woolen Mills balls of the glacier and a couple of lots of um, the storm cloud for the cow um, squares I'm going to be making and I'm also going to take my knitting that I don't think I've showed you for a while it's still going it's a very long-term relationship this one <laughs> so I've done quite a lot I'm probably I'm getting close to halfway now that's called a, a hat for Harriet and it's um, lace lace weight yarn it's just little bits of lace on the edge and it's just got a stitch through here it's just a little bobble on the edge there um, so yes <laughs> hopefully I'll get a few more repeats done on that while I'm sitting and I'm gonna be catching the train a few times and things so hopefully I can take that with me and enjoy that as I'm on my, my travels so yes that's it that's all I'm taking because I can't fit anything else <laughs> thank you joy I will enjoy Sydney I'm sure and I will absolutely come to Brisbane or, and all the Gold Coast the Gold Coast isn't that far from Brisbane these days I lived in Brisbane for many years so I kind of know my way around a little bit um, yes so yay <laughs> so I think that is me um, have a wonderful week hopefully I'll see some of you next week in Sydney Otherwise, I will see you week after next here on Friday, the 12th of, no, is that the 12th of October? I think so, yes. <laughs> Friday, the 12th of October. Sounds about right. I will see you back here on Facebook Live or hello if you're watching later on YouTube. As always, if you have any questions, email me shelly at spincushions.com, leave a comment here on Facebook or wherever, and I will find it and respond. So have a wonderful week and I'll see you soon. Bye.